uremic neuropathy symptoms. You are watching a production of GoodHealthTube.com. In this video, we will discuss the neurological complications of chronic kidney disease with an emphasis on peripheral neuropathy. Later in the video, we will provide information on the preservation of already compromised kidney function and in some cases reversal of kidney disease. Neurological complications in chronic kidney disease. There are unfortunately several neurological complications of chronic kidney disease. These can include stroke, the risk of which is increased with chronic kidney disease, encephalopathy, abnormal brain function from the accumulation of unfiltered toxins in the blood, seizures, coma, movement disorders, and restless leg syndrome. But the most common neurological complication of chronic kidney disease is peripheral neuropathy. When peripheral neuropathy occurs in the context of kidney disease, it is known as uremic neuropathy. Before we discuss uremic neuropathy symptoms, we will quickly review that peripheral neuropathy occurs in the nerves that are outside the brain and spinal cord. The brain and spinal cord make up the central nervous system. Peripheral neuropathy involves diseased or damaged nerves in the peripheral nervous system. Can kidney disease cause peripheral neuropathy? Yes. Typically, kidney failure itself causes nerve degeneration. A lack of essential nutrients, such as thiamine, vitamin B1, or an excess of zinc could be contributing factors. These abnormalities are more prevalent in people with kidney disease. Abnormally high phosphorus concentrations may result in the formation of calcium phosphate deposits, which can contribute to neuropathy. This also occurs more frequently in people with kidney disease. Finally, neuropathy can be a sign of inadequate dialysis. Blood tests can confirm whether or not you are receiving adequate dialysis to remove urea and other waste products from your blood. Symptoms of peripheral neuropathy caused by kidney disease. In the early stages of uremic peripheral neuropathy, sensitivity to pinprick and vibration is diminished in the toes and feet. As the disease progresses, pain becomes more prominent of a symptom. Eventually tendon reflexes in the legs are diminished or absent. Similar signs and symptoms may manifest in the fingers, hands, and forearms as the disease progresses. In advanced cases, motor nerves may be affected, causing weakness and atrophy in the muscles of the lower parts of the legs. Some overlap exists between uremic peripheral neuropathy and myopathy, which is an intrinsic disease of the muscle. A muscle biopsy may be required to differentiate the two. What is uremic peripheral polyneuropathy? Mononeuropathy is a medical term used to indicate that one nerve is diseased or damaged. An example of this is carpal tunnel syndrome. By the way, carpal tunnel syndrome incidence is increased in chronic kidney disease. Polyneuropathy is a medical term referring to a group of nerves that are diseased or damaged unlike the example of carpal tunnel syndrome which is a mononeuropathy. In uremic peripheral polyneuropathy, multiple groups of nerves are involved. This can mean that both sensory nerves and motor nerves can be malfunctioning at the same time. The symptoms of uremic peripheral neuropathy have already been discussed and will be reiterated before this video ends. How is uremic neuropathy diagnosed? The diagnosis starts by talking to a doctor who will obtain a medical history of your signs and symptoms. Blood tests will need to be ordered, and it is not uncommon to be referred to a nephrologist, a kidney disease specialist, and or a neurologist. Specialized electrophysiological studies of the muscles and nerves may need to be performed. How is uremic neuropathy treated? The only potential cure of uremic neuropathy is a renal transplant. Dialysis unfortunately is not a cure although the number of flare-ups and the intensity of the symptoms may be diminished. The number of dialysis patients who still suffer from uremic neuropathy can be as high as 60%. Before we recap this video, we want to mention that we have a whole neuropathy playlist dedicated to the various aspects of peripheral neuropathy that you will find helpful. A link will be in the video description. You will also find in the description a link to a program that can help you to preserve your current kidney function and in some cases improve the health of your kidneys. This is profound. Let's now recap this video. Uremic neuropathy is a peripheral neuropathy that is caused by chronic kidney disease. There is overlap with the symptoms of other peripheral neuropathy. These symptoms include loss of sensation of pinprick and vibration with the subsequent diminishing or absence of reflexes. 
pain and muscle weakness occur. The diagnosis involves seeing a doctor and having blood tests. Specialized testing with a nephrologist or neurologist will likely be needed, while various medication may be used to treat the symptoms of uremic neuropathy. Similar to other peripheral neuropathies, the definitive cure is a kidney transplant. Finally, check out our link in the description on how to best care for your kidneys when experiencing any stage of chronic kidney disease. This could potentially change your life. Please like, subscribe, and comment. More valuable videos such as this can be found in our neuropathy playlist and in the kidney playlist. Hit the notification bell to be notified when more videos become available. This video is not a substitute for consulting a physician. It is not intended as medical advice. It is intended solely for educational and informative purposes. Always consult a healthcare professional before beginning a new health plan. You have been watching a production of GoodHealthTube.com. Thanks for watching.